Hey friends, Gator Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're taking a look at some of the new travel items from Dagny Dover. All right, so I have a couple of the new styles to share with you today. I have the sling, obviously, that I'm wearing right here. I have the tote bag, and then I have both styles of the new travel like toiletry type case that I'm gonna be chatting about as well. I don't know the exact names or colors of these items as they are new, but I will do my best to kind of put them here um, on the screen as I'm talking about them and definitely in the description box so that if you want to shop any of these, you can easily find them. All right, so you guys know I love my sling bags. I feel like every single video <laughs> that I've been doing lately on a sling bag or a belt bag starts with that. Like, you guys know I love my sling bags. <laughs> like, but you do. I have a ton of them and I love this style. This one here is absolutely perfect for travel. Like, this is like the jet setter's dream sling bag. Like, I mean it wholeheartedly. It, there's so much organization to this bag and it's so comfortable to wear. You can fit a lot in it, but it is like a bigger sling bag for sure, or maybe bulky is the right word. Um, so for me, it wouldn't necessarily be like an everyday like sling bag, but 100% for travel, which obviously it's in their travel line. <laughs> but let me go through and show you all of the different pockets in this one. So on the very front of the bag, you actually have two pockets. You have this one with this drawstring that can be used for, I guess, like a water bottle or your sunglasses, keys. You can really use it for whatever you want, but it does tighten really tight, so nothing will really fall out of here. But I love just kind of the style of it being that mesh material. Um, this pocket in the front is really big. You have a ton of room in here to throw anything really like there's just a lot that you can do in this very front pocket when i had it packed up and was kind of playing with it and using it last week i had my um my airpods in here i had my keys in here i had chapstick it's just kind of like the most accessible um pocket to grab things in then directly behind both of those you have the main opening here of the bag you do have double zipper pulls so you can kind of keep them in the middle if you want to only unzip like the side that you want to get something out of if you have it on your body but it opens up nice and big <laughs> like so big and when i say there's a ton of room in here like y'all there's there's so much room inside this one you have a zipper pocket right here you have a little slip pocket a mesh pocket um, on this other side of the bag you have another zipper pocket and what's really cool about that one is there's actually like a hidden magnetic pocket behind that one so there's just a ton of different ways that you can organize this you also have of course the little tether on the inside here you can attach your keys or like a small little pouch but i honestly don't think you would need many pouches in this one with all of the different pockets that you have um you can open it up as you can see here nice and wide but it stays secure so i wouldn't be worried really like truly about anything falling out of it um, it only goes down about like halfway here on the bag. But as you can see, opening up the bottom like base here, like it, it holds, it holds a ton. <laughs> on the back of the bag here, you do have one open pocket um, and it does not have any type of closure. It's just like an open slit pocket. I wish there would have been a little bit of like a magnet here, honestly, um, but it's just an open pocket. No zipper, no magnet. Um, know anything back there. The clasp hardware is something that I love. <laughs> when I saw this, I think the style is just really cool on this. It's a nice high quality like metal zipper. And I think it's something different than I've seen in really any sling bag or belt bag. I think it's just really cool. Putting the bag quickly here on the body so that you can see what it looks like. I have it, I don't know, probably right in the middle as far as a strap length. Um, and this is about where I would wear this bag. I wouldn't wear it much lower than this just because it's on like the wider side, especially if you have it packed full, um, but it sits really comfortably. I like here that there's actually some additional fabric right here because it just kind of helps the bag lay really comfortably against your chest. So I like it. I think it's really, really, really comfortable. All right, moving on here to the tote bag. 
this thing is so much bigger than what I thought it was going to be and I think it truly is an awesome awesome travel tote there's a couple of different ways that you can carry this one obviously you have the grab handles at the top that you can easily kind of carry over the crook here of your arm you have the option to wear this bag over your shoulder with this strap that comes with it you can wear it over your shoulder or crossbody. It does have this super cushioned um, kind of piece of fabric at the top so that it won't slide off your shoulder whenever you're wearing it. Um, you can of course adjust it, make it a little bit bigger so that you can wear it crossbody on your body. I obviously didn't make it any bigger, but I would probably wear this just a little bit lower, but because I'm so short, um, maybe not because it just kind of comfortably fits against my body and um, so you have that option with this bag last but not least you can wear this one as a backpack and if you didn't want to wear it as a backpack like if you knew for sure you were just gonna be wearing it crossbody or over the shoulder you can actually tuck these straps inside this zipper pocket so that it is completely flat and you don't have these like flopping around on the outside of the bag at all. So I love that it's kind of convertible in that respect. You can use it like this, or you can use it just as a standard tote bag. Let's talk about some of the pockets with this one. I feel like it's gonna be one that I'm gonna need to do a full packing video on, because you really truly won't be able to see the true organization of this one if I don't put a bunch of stuff in it. But for today's video, I'm just gonna kind of walk you through them. On the back here, um, with or without the backpack straps attached here, because like I said, you could easily tuck them in here, you have not one, but two like cell phone type pockets. So it's perfect if you wanna put your wallet in one, if you wanna put your passport in one, um, you have two different options here, and then you have a luggage sleeve. So like I said, no matter what these straps are doing on the back of the bag, as far as like what mode they're in, you have the option to still use this luggage sleeve and these two pockets. So it's just really, really functional. The front of this bag here has one big, huge open pocket, and it does have a magnetic closure here but it doesn't have any small pockets or anything. Those are just on the back of the bag there like I showed you. But this front pocket could easily hold a magazine, a book, like any type of big um, like folio type thing for travel. Like if you have your passport and stuff, you could put a ton right here on the front of the bag. Also on the sides, you have massive like water bottle holders. <laughs> They're so big. I mean, this bag is a true travel bag. I can't think of a water bottle that would not fit on the side of these bags comfortably. Same goes with like an umbrella or anything like that. Um, these are really, really great side pockets. One of my favorite features about this bag is the magnetic closure that's inside this flap. As you can see here, if you have it completely unzipped and folded down and did not want to use the zipper closure option, you can easily just flip these up and they stay completely out of your way, <laughs> which is a dream when you're traveling. If you just don't want them in the way and you wanna kinda of keep your bag open like this, um, I thought that that design feature was really cool. Um, as far as the back and the interior pockets inside this one, there is a ton, there really is. When I do a packing video, you'll be able to see it um, in much more detail, but you have a laptop sleeve back here. You also have a mesh pocket down there. Um, this bag also has a zipper pocket inside over here and a couple other small pockets as well as some pen loops down there. So tons of organization. Um, you can fit a ton inside this tote. All right, last but not least, I want to touch on these toiletry cases. They are my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. I have a ton of toiletry bags. I do a lot of traveling. These are incredible. I love the way they are designed. There's two different sizes. This is the smaller one, and this here is the larger one. Side by side, you really can't tell that big of a difference. I was really hoping that the large was gonna be even bigger um, than what it is. I just don't think that the difference between the two is that big. So if you're on the fence, I think you could easily go with the larger one. Um, just because it's not that big of a difference or go with the smaller one. <laughs> as far as what fits inside, I have actually already traveled with both of them and I feel like I pack the same stuff and they 
all of the items feel very similar in both of these bags. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go through, I guess I'll go through this larger one here. Um, the smaller one is exactly the same as far as the pockets I'm gonna show you, the zippers, um, the way that it's designed, it's just a smidge smaller. <laughs> All right, on the outside here, you have the Dagny Dover label, and you have these little kind of webbed hooks, if you will. You have a grab handle over here. You also have a grab handle over here. And then you have a zipper pocket in the bottom of the bag that goes the entire way across the bottom. I have no idea what this pocket is, is supposed to be used for, honestly. When you open it up, it is so tight down here that I couldn't even get like a makeup brush in there. So I'm not sure if the zipper is just kind of for looks, like maybe design, um, but as far as functionality, I haven't used this one for anything. <laughs> Opening up the inside of the bag, you have a metal kind of um, rod that goes around this part of the bag, so it really helps keep its shape. I love this hook at the top. You can hang it up when you're traveling. Um, you have a mesh pocket here. You have a loop here for brushes or I put my toothbrush there. And then inside you have pocket, pocket, another pocket here in the front. And then you also have these side elastic pockets. So you can kind of use all of these pockets around the outside for small like skincare type items. I was able to put an entire eyeshadow palette right in here. And then of course you can have this whole inside area for everything else. Like it fits a ton and it really organizes everything well. Um, I can't wait to show you this one all packed up. All right, I think that does it for today's video. I sure hope it was helpful for those of you that were interested in the new travel items from Dagny Dover. I will have all of these linked down below and I will likely be doing a couple more videos, especially on that tote, maybe those toiletry bags, at least a, another like a short or a long form video. I don't know, but you're gonna need to see how they pack <laughs> because my description probably didn't do them justice. But if you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them down below. I'm always happy to help. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.